Hey Dataflow fans, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about Power Query in Azure Data Factory. Now, when you execute a Power Query inside of ADF, what you'll do is you'll actually first build that uh, Power Query by using the Power Query activity inside the pipeline. And then when you execute that from the pipeline, we will convert that on the fly to a data flow so that your Power Query can execute at scale using the Data Factory and Data Flow capabilities. Now today I want to talk to you about a little bit more of an advanced use case with Power Query where you're pivoting data. And when you pivot within Power Query and EDF, we need a little bit of editing of the M script behind the Power Query to make that work. So I want to talk to you about how you would do that. Now to make it easy for you, we made a convenience uh, starting template that you can use to see how to pivot data using Power Query. So on my screen, I'm inside of my Data Factory Design Surface. And we have a series of templates under the Power Query category. To get to here, to get to the template gallery, click on the plus sign up here under Factory Resources. And you can click Pipeline, Template Gallery. And that'll get you started here. Now I've selected the Power Query category, and you'll see that we have this moving analytics using Power Query. This talks about being a template that uses pivot table transformation. We're going to calculate average rating on movies by genre for each year. The sample data is located here, so if you click on that, you will see the sample data, which is this moviesdb.csv, and then you can download this. So make sure you've downloaded this CSV if you want to walk through this example from the template gallery. Put this into your storage accounts in Azure, and then you'll be able to access it from this template that we're going to instantiate. So here's the template, and it's going to ask you uh, for a link service to where your data is located. So after you've downloaded that movie CSV, you have it in your storage account, you're gonna pick a link service that connects to that data. The data set that's going to get created for you in your factory from this template, the data set is called movie data. It's a limited text because it's a CSV file. If you don't really have a link service, just create, uh, click new to create a new one. I'm going to use my data link store uh, for this. That's my existing link service. And then I'll click on use this template at the bottom on my screen. Now what that's going to do is it's going to create the pipeline for you with the um, Power Query activity already there with the pivot inside of it. So let's go ahead and we'll click on that. And you'll see under settings that here is the movie data power query that was created and added to my factory along with the pipeline and data set for me from the template. Let me go back to general and just tells you the description of what this um, pipeline is actually doing. It's calculating the average movie rating by genre and year. And we're going to use the pivot transformation inside of power query to do that. All right, so I'm going to click on my settings so I get to that power query movie data right here. Let's click on open so we can open up that power query. Now, when the Power Query opens up inside of your factory, you're going to see an error message because you're pointing to a data set then that is assuming that the location of that file that you've downloaded is in a specific place. So what you'll do is go over here to your factory resources and look for that data set that was generated in your factory called movie data. Okay, so movie data is right here. I click on that. And I have to point data factory to where it's located in my factory. Okay, so I've already done that. And you can see here that mine is going to be here under my container sample data, and then we'll have movies data. So movies da uh, moviesdb.csv, which I downloaded from the GitHub repo earlier. Now that I'm pointing to that data, if I go back to my movie demo, Power Query, I can click refresh. So now Power Query will go back and reread uh, from that data set from ADF, and now I have my working Power Query. So we can explore, and we can work with the transformations in here, and now you can see how pivoting is completed and, and done within Power Query and ADF. So let's walk through the steps that are going on within this, um, this set of transformations. So the source is that movies db uh, CSV file. We've uppercased the genres. We have changed the column type of the movie's primary key. And then we did a couple of other uh, transformations. I'm not going to go through each one of those. And then at the end is when we have the pivot column. So when you click on the pivot column, if you go into the advanced editor, this is where you're going to see the editing that we did to the M script to make this work. Now I'm going to put a link to the documentation to step you through all the steps. Uh, if you don't want to start from the template, we also have the um, instructions on what to do here. But what we had to do was because we um, uppercased all of the genres, we just typed them in this way so that we can uh, um, sort of ignore any differences in the casing. So each one of the different values that you want to pivot is included in this list over here. So you have drama, horror, comedy, musical, and docu uh, documentary. So that way then when we pivot, we can get the different categories as columns, turning those rows into column values, and then get the aggregate accounts, the aggregate values um, for those, which I believe is 
actually not a uh, count, but a rate, uh, an average uh, of the rating across those genres. Okay, now, just to show you what will happen before you edit that script, let's go back a step to the uh, changed column type one transformation right here. And what we would do is if we wanted to take that genre column and then click pivot column on it, let's find out, insert the step. And then from the UI, we click OK. You'll see the banner that you get indicating that so that will not fold into, essentially what this is saying, this is not going to scale out. It's not going to be folded into Spark like you'd want it to. So to correct that, that's what we show you in the template uh, with those values I was um, showing in the M script. So if I now click the advanced editor, and this is what you'll see is that um, the UI is going to give you this list that distinct, but you actually need to list out the genres, which is what I did here. So we replaced uh, this list that distinct with the values that you wish to pivot into columns. Okay, so that is how to pivot and that is using a template to get started with it. And I'll put a link in the description for the full documentation on how to walk through those steps. Thanks for watching.